Hey, this is HMD, and I'm reviewing Burger Week. This is a kind of a festival in Toronto between the 28th and the 31st. A number of restaurants are doing $5 burgers, and I have five reviews for you. Here we go. The place I'm reviewing is Holy Chuck. Uh, they did a two patty beef, lamb, and Saganaka cheeseburger with red onions, olive oil, and sauteed peppers. So here's the burger. Um, you can see that they have two types of onions on here, the sauteed onions, and look like pickled onions. This is actually a pretty be uh well lamby burger. Uh, quite see it's pretty uh pretty beefy. Um, it was good. It has really good flavor. Uh, I really enjoyed this burger. I'm not really a really big fan of Holy Chuck, but definitely knocked out of the park with this one. Uh, you know, it it almost tasted kind of like a gyro meat. Uh, I'm definitely giving it a eight out of ten. And uh, definitely, uh, maybe next Burger Week, check them out. They did a solid job. I also did Slab Burger, Crispy Hawaiian. It's a beef patty top with pineapple chunks, crispy onions, and crunchy bacon. So here is the slab burger sesame seed bun here. Um, so first off, uh, I'd like to say that the um, appearance looked good. Nice, obviously homemade burger right here. Not too much toppings though. You know, they got like bacon bits, a couple of pieces of uh, what looks to be pineapple relish. Not much. And the burger was dry. Uh, probably my least favorite burger of the Burger Week. You know, better luck next time. But really, the flavors were good, though. You know, I'll give them that. Um, I thought the, they needed more stuff on the burger. Uh, but the bites I got with the pineapple and crispy onions were good. Uh, but the meat was dry. That's pretty much it. 6 out of 10. Uh, you could probably skip this place maybe next burger week, but, you know, it was okay. Also did Hey Meatball, pork patty with uh, a tomato gravy, mozzarella cheese, and pesto and a spicy pickle. Yeah. So now over here we have the Hey Meatball burger, more of a meatball sandwich if anything else. That cheese uh, is actually really good. I don't know if it was mozzarella, yeah it's mozzarella, but damn, that's a good sandwich right there. Uh, flavors are great, spicy, flavorful meatball, tender, bread was crispy, probably the best meatball sandwich I had. Definitely an 8 out of 10, one of the top dogs, and the burger went upside down. That was my brother filming. Here is Cardinal Rule, the Swiss Army Burger, brisket, uh, Swiss cheese, homemade barbecue sauce, and an onion ring. So here is the Swiss Army Burger. The crispy onions on this burger were actually very good. Um, you know, it was for five bucks, it's a nice sized burger. Um, visually, very nice. I like the kind of cardboard bowl they serve it to you in. Uh, burger though, average. I mean, the meat wasn't too dry, but it's definitely a burger you can make at home. The crispy onions were really good. Flavors were there, but compared to the other burgers I've had, like Hey Meatball, Holy Chuck, I mean, it just didn't stand up. 7 out of 10. And we 
have rude boys, smoked pimento cheese, mustard barbecue sauce, and coleslaw. All right, at this point, I was really, really stuffed. I mean, I could barely eat, but this burger, this is in my top 10 of burgers in Toronto. I mean, the meat was succulent. It came with potato chips and a pickle. Uh, the flavors, I mean, not my favorite types of flavors, but just the bun, the quality of the meat, it was so juicy. This thing was definitely the best burger. I had a burger week. Uh, in my books, they win. Good job, Rude Boys. Um, the bun was so good. The meat was delicious. Uh, the cheese was great. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I mean, just look at it, the grease glistening. It is amazing. Go to Rude Boys. I mean, great place. Again, 9 out of 10. Good job.